Attention. Hi, my name is Erica Olson. Today's whiteboard session is on goals, goal setting. So what is a goal? Specifically, it is a one to three year action statement. Okay, so let's address the biggest problem that we have with goals, objectives, cornerstones, priorities, whatever the heck you want to call them. We have a problem with semantics and we want to cut the semantics out, of course, when we're talking about goal setting. So right now, call it whatever you want to. We're using the definition and the word goal. What we're really talking about, about is how do you develop an effective one to three year action statement. The big thing that you need to do is make sure that you're actually starting it with a verb, such as increasing. Okay? A good goal actually says what dial are we trying to move? Right? Increasing, decreasing, reducing. Maintaining is okay if you actually just want to articulate that you're trying to do something, but you're not necessarily trying to change it. But most of the time in strategy development, we're trying to change something. We're trying to see a movement. So again, what movement are we trying to see? The next thing that's important when you're setting good goals is to make sure they're SMART. And we just love this acronym. What does it stand for? The S stands for specific, M, measurable, we'll look at that in a moment, actionable, so what the heck does actionable mean? That means when you read it in a year from now, you remember what you wrote and you can do something about it. Trust me, I've seen a lot of plans and we often forget what we intended when we wrote the statement. Responsible person. So this is who is doing it. And then the T is for time bound. When is it going to get done? Let's look at some examples. Let's look at this example specifically. Okay, so we have this goal here. Increase customer satisfaction. So increase. There's my handy dandy little verb. We want to increase customer satisfaction by, here's our measurable, 10% by when I said 1231. Okay, so there's my time bound. And if I were doing this for an organization, I would put someone's name next to it, such as Tom. An important thing when you're setting goals is to understand how people are going to help you get this goal accomplished and breaking the goal down to make sure that everybody has a piece of it who needs to and has a piece they can actually accomplish. So let's look at this. We have this pretty lofty statement, increased customer satisfaction. That's an organization-wide goal, as we call that. You know that's a good goal because in this instance, we have a couple of departments or divisions that need to make this happen. We have, let's say this would be the uh, customer service department. I'll put customer service. And let's say this is the IT department. Two departments impacting customer satisfaction in our organization. The customer service department needs to reduce their errors and the IT department needs to resolve issue tickets faster. So again, we've broken this down, again, cascading goals one level deeper. Now, within the customer service department, there maybe are a couple of people within the department that help us reduce errors. Maybe it's a, a process or it's a system or it's a form that we need to, to fill out more effectively. Same thing in IT, couple of people that need to help resolve issue tickets a little bit faster. So what have we done? We've taken this big lofty goal, increased customer satisfaction. We can't accomplish that. We've broken it down into two palatable things. So the customer service manager does have command control and accountability to fix errors. And IT has accountability to resolve issue tickets faster. And then they have something to manage within their organization. So we're taking this big idea and the team member has something very specific, their own goal that they can use to help develop and accomplish uh, customer satisfaction and increasing it by 10%. So my tip relating to setting good goals is to make sure that you really think about how does it go from the big picture to the small picture and making sure when you articulate it, you are actually being really specific about identifying is it specific, measurable, actionable, responsible, and time bound.